All right, so this is a tutorial on how to do digital circulism. So you're basically going to take your circles, which you've already outlined your face in, and you're going to copy and paste them in a series of steps into Photoshop. So first thing you want to do is select your photo. So right now my photo is locked, so I'm going to go to Object, Unlock All. Select my photo and go to Edit Copy. Now I go into Photoshop. I'm going to go to a new canvas change it to inches. I'm going to go 8.5 inches high wide by 11 inches high, 150 resolution. So I hit OK and there's my empty canvas. I'm going to go ahead and edit paste my photo in, make sure it's pixels. Next I'm going to adjust the size of my photo. It's frustrating they come in at different sizes but it just it is what it is. So once you have your circle the right size or your face the right size, you go back into Illustrator and this is going to select all your circles. But to do that, I'm going to first lock my background photo so I can't select it. Now I select all my circles and I go to Edit Copy. I go into Photoshop, Edit Paste as pixels. And then now I just have to move it and I can use the arrows on my keyboard. I can adjust it. So I can make this guy a little bit bigger. Just kind of use the main features of the face to kind of guide you and how big or small you want to make it. So once you have it in place, you go ahead and hit enter. And now I'm going to rename these. So I'm going to call this one outlines because it's an outline of my circles. And this is obviously my photo, so I'm going to call it photo just to stay organized. So now I'm going to go back into Illustrator. I'm going to go ahead and have no outline. And I'm going to fill it in with a color. So now I have them all filled in. Do the same thing, select them all, go to Edit Copy, go to Photoshop, go to Edit Paste. Hit OK with pixels, of course, and doing the same thing with your previous circles. Got to make it a little bit bigger. Now, they might be slightly different. They're not maybe not perfectly the same, but as long as you get them pretty close, it'll work out fine. So again, I'm using my arrows on my keyboard to nudge it, hit enter to store it, and I'm going to call this one Solid Circles. So what you're going to do is, you're basically going to copy your outlines from your photo and then copy your solids from your photo. To do that, hold Control and then click on the little thumbnail picture right here of the outlines. That will bring up the marching ants. Once the marching ants are up in the shape of the outlines, all you do is go to your photo layer, then go to Edit Copy, edit paste and so if I hide my outlines and my photo there's my kind of face to see it better I'm gonna go ahead and change the background so I'm gonna go paint bucket black I'm gonna go to my background layer and as I click it just kinda of makes it solid alright so this is how it looks with outlines I'm gonna go ahead and hide that I'm gonna call it final outlines and then I'm gonna go to my solid circles I'm going to start the whole process again. So I'm going to hold control, click on the solid circles, makes my marching ants appear. Then I go to my photo, edit copy, edit paste. And I'm going to call this one final solid. And I'm going to hide my photo layer and hide my solid layer. So this is what it looks like with solid circles. And that's what it looks like with just the outlines of the circles. Whatever one looks the best, that's the one you turn in. So just save it as a JPEG and then turn it in. So you can go solid or you can go outline, whatever you think looks the best. And that is digital circulism.